Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura, and this channel is all about crochet and anything yarn related. Now, you may have heard about my crochet project planners that I recently came out with, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway for either the crochet project planner or my pattern keeper. Now, these pattern keepers, they help keep all of your pattern ideas in line so you can sketch them out. You can put your notes and write down all of your stitches. Now, the Crochet Project Planner, they help keep all of your project ideas in line. You, they also have the pattern idea sheets. They have weekly goals, yearly goals, and monthly goals. You can do your yarn inventory. And if you'd like to see more, I'll link a video up above. You might remember my last giveaway for the homeless was the Worry Worm Challenge. And I received over 300 Worry Worms to give to the homeless to help calm their nerves, to help make them feel like they weren't alone. And that was a great success. And these donations are going to the outreach program at the Bethel Church of Gary, Indiana. And um, there is a lot of homeless population in that area. And they often have uh, tables set up in front of the church. And the homeless can come and pick and choose from the items that they have for absolutely free because they live in abandoned buildings and they live on the streets. It's a really sad situation and I would like to do anything I can to help them. So with that being said, my idea for this giveaway is to provide each person with a baggie with some scrubbies for their face. So I would like to have two round scrubbies for their face and I would like them each to be in a Ziploc bag. Now you can do any pattern you like for these scrubbies. And I would also really like to have one or two little bars of soap inside each bag. You know, these are the little hotel soaps that you can get. I'm sure a lot of people have these in their um, stash. I know I had several of them myself. If you don't happen to have these, then you can always go to the Dollar Tree and they have very small um, sizes of different things. Just please um, don't include big heavy bars of soap or bottles of body wash. So let's just keep it down to the small bars or small tubes, small travel size. So these are two um, just little cotton face scrubbies that I made up and these are 100% cotton. And I also came up with this pattern and I thought this would be pretty nice. So you can do this pattern and I will go ahead and show you this uh, tutorial right after I explain the giveaway. I thought this was kind of nice because it has more of a texture to it to scrub dirt off the face, but it's smooth on the back in case they needed that for, you know, they wanted something a little less, you know, bumpy. So in order to be entered into this giveaway, I must receive at least three of these packages, which include two of the scrubbies and at least, at least one, but preferably two small hotel soaps or one travel size soap and um, put it in a Ziploc bag. So if I receive three of those, then you will be entered in to the giveaway. You can send more, but you still will only get one entry. All of the rules will be listed in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out. And I will need to have all of your submissions sent to me by October 1st, 2021. And then I will pick the winner on October 4th, 2021. And then we will see who the winner is and if you wanna choose either the project planner or you can choose the pattern keeper. Either one is up to you. So. And if you live outside of the U.S., then I will PayPal you $19.95 U.S. dollars to your account, and then you can order your own planner in your country because it's really difficult for me in the U.S. to order things and have them sent overseas. So it's just easier for me to give you the money, and you can order it yourself. So with that being said, let's take a look at the tutorial on how to make this really fun face scrubby. For this project, I'm going to be using I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. Now this is a real soft cotton. You can also use kitchen cotton if you want to, but it just won't be as soft. And then I'm also using a size H hook. This is very simple and easy to do. To start this project, you're going to make a magic ring. Now, if you can't do the magic circle, don't worry. You can always just chain three and then connect them to make a circle and then work your stitches in that center. So now we are going to do 10 single crochets in the middle of this ring. One, two, three. <laughs> Ten. 
Once you have all 10 of your single crochets, then you will take your tail and pull it tight to form a circle. Now you might have to kind of move it around with your hands a little bit to flatten it out. See how it's getting flat now? Just tighten it up nice and tight. And now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first chain. And then we're going to chain one. Now we will start our bobbles. We will be doing five bobbles. So in the first chain, we're going to yarn over and then stick it in the chain, pull through, and then pull through only two loops. So now you should have two loops on your hook. Then we will repeat this process until we have six loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And now we've got three loops. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have four loops. Keep going. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Five loops, one more time. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we've got our six loops on our hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six. And then tighten up your tension a little bit. And then in the next stitch, we're just going to do a single crochet. And that will kind of make your little bobble puff stick up. So the next stitch, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create another bobble. Yarn over and you pull through two. And we're going to do that until we have six loops on our hook yet again. So now you've got your six stitches. Yarn over and pull through all of them. There you go. And then in the next stitch, you'll do your single crochet. So after you do your next single crochet, then you'll do another bobble in the next chain, then a single crochet, then a bobble, and a single crochet. And I'll meet you back as soon as I get back to the end where we started. So now we've worked our last bobble, and we are going to do our last single crochet. and then chain one. So now we will work two single crochets in this next stitch that's on top of each bobble. One. My yarn split a little bit here. <laughs> okay. And then in the next stitch, you're just going to do one single crochet. We're gonna do that all the way around. So. See how the bobble has like this long chain stitch right here? This is where you're going to place your two single crochets. You do this after every row of bobbles. And then the next stitch, you do a single crochet. See the long stitch right here on the top of the bobble? single crochet. So I'll meet you when we get back to the other end. Once you've made it back around, slip stitch, chain one, and then we're going to work bobbles again all the way around. So after your chain one, you'll just alternate the bobble with the single crochet on all of the stitches all the way around. So let me just demonstrate one more time. Yarn over and you pull through two and stick it back into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, and we're gonna do this until we have six stitches on the hook. Six loops on the hook, I should say. And we wanna do this until we have three rows of bobbles. Pull through them, 
and then single crochet and then we'll do a bobble in the next so continue alternating a bobble with your single crochet all the way around and i'll meet you back where we started okay i just finished my last bobble now i'm going to slip stitch and then i will chain one now we're going to place two single crochets in that long stitch that runs on the top of each bobble. And then a single crochet in the next stitch and do that all the way around just like we did before. And I'll meet you back when I get to the end. So now I've reached the end and I'm going to slip stitch and chain one and now we will start our last row of bobbles so now i've reached the end and i'm going to slip stitch and chain one and now we will start our last row of bobbles so in the very first stitch we'll start our bobble so i'm going to start my first bobble here in the first chain and then we will just keep continuing around doing a single crochet right after each bobble. And when I reach the end, I will meet you back for the next step. So now we've done our last stitch, we're going to chain one. And then we will work our two single crochets in the long stitch on the top of each bobble. And then the one single crochet after that all the way around. And I will meet you back when we're done with that row. Okay, I've gone all the way around with my single crochet, and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch. And you may notice that it is kind of um, lumpy and it's not laying flat, but that's okay because once we put the border around the edge, it will lay perfectly flat. And we'll make sure that we sew these ends in later. So now that we've got our slip stitch in, we are going to chain two, and then we are going to do half doubles all the way around. So yarn over, and in this first stitch, go ahead and place a half double. When you do that, it kind of um, takes up that little gap space in there. So just every single stitch, just do a half double. Yarn over, stick it in the stitch, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through the three loops. Do that all the way around, and I will meet you back at the beginning. Okay, now we are back to where we started. Slip stitch into the first chain at the top. And then chain one. And then you're going to work two single crochets into each stitch going around. Now that is going to make it thicker and it will make it lay flatter. And it will give it more of a little texture around the edge. So that's what we're going to do now, and this will be your last row. So single crochet into this first stitch right here, and then the next stitch, you're going to place two single crochets. And continue doing two single crochets into each stitch all the way around, and I will meet you back at the very end. Okay, now we're at our last 
last stitch. We're going to do our last two single crochets and then slip stitch to the top of the very first stitch. See how nicely that lays? And then we're going to weave in our ends. So here we have our finished little facial scrubby. Isn't it adorable? And it's so easy to make too. And all the ends are woven in and it looks great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And for more yarn fun, be sure to check out my website at projocorner.com. There you'll find my blog, patterns, merch, and my crochet planners. You'll also find a YouTube planner and I also have a knitting pattern keeper as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to check out my new Patreon. Membership levels start at only $5 a month and you'll get all kinds of great perks. Check it out at patreon.com slash Corner.